A critical component of the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archive's mission is to provide access by giving the public many opportunities to experience unique historical films and videos via screenings, special events, YouTube, and social media platforms. I'm Kevin Wynn. I'm the coordinator of public programs at the Lynn and Lewis Wilson II Florida Moving Image Archives. I was born in South Florida. I've lived in South Florida. So much of what is in this collection relates specifically to things in my life and to things that I've known. And I'm really excited by the idea of communicating that to other people, sharing that with other people, telling other people the stories that are in this archive, the thousands of stories. I program the archive's YouTube channel. We have about 2,000 clips on the YouTube channel now. And it's a great way to get our material out in front of people. They can watch it at home. They can watch it on the bus. They can watch it on their phone. They can watch it anytime. We program it kind of around anniversaries and important dates and things, but you know, we'll look back and see what happened 55 years ago today, what happened 40 years ago today. And often those are not necessarily famous or terribly significant things. Sometimes they're just goofy things. I really try to find material that captures the kind of offbeat ethos of Florida. We want to get around the expectations people have that, oh, it's an archive, it's a big room full of dusty stuff that only historians and researchers are interested in. But well, that's not true. There's a ton of stuff in there that everybody can watch and enjoy and find crazy or illuminating. Our Facebook page is maybe the primary way for people to keep up with what the archives is doing in terms of events, in terms of what's new on our YouTube channel, in terms of what's going on at the archives. Twitter is very good because it's another uh, avenue for engagement. Also, there are tons of other archives and institutions and libraries and museums that are on Twitter. And so we're not only talking to people in general and to the Twitter audience, but we're also talking to other institutions that are like us. So we have a number of programs where we do presentations with people, screenings, uh, talks. Then the main one we do, the one we do week in and week out, is called Rewind. Rewind takes place on the campus of Miami-Dade College, on the Wilson campus, in our classroom that we call our screening room next to the archives. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's just kind of a screening every couple days of material that we have from the archives. Sometimes it has to do with like a theme thing, like Women's History or Women's History Month. Sometimes it doesn't, like we'll just show crazy old travel films of Miami. I also talked to classes, Miami-Dade College classes. We had a hospitality class or two come in, and you don't think of hospitality as like a very historic subject matter, but there's a lot of material in our collection that relates to hospitality. And when you think about it, Florida's economy is largely based on tourism, and tourism is hospitality, so there you are. We've also had history classes come in. We showed footage from the Cold War, and it kind of gave a very intense local angle on how the Cold War was playing out. So it's really great to involve the faculty and the students and show them that this is a resource that they can use here. So we have a number of events which are like film festivals. Uh, one thing is a one-day event, Home Movie Day, which happens in October every year. That's an international celebration and appreciation of home movies. I like to do presentations with the collection. So I've done a lot of them. I've done it at the libraries and senior centers and all kinds of places. I did one about Frank Sinatra in Miami making a movie called Lady in Cement uh, at the History Miami Museum, which was went over pretty well. It was interesting. It was kind of behind the scenes footage and interviews with people in the cast. One of the more popular things we did was a screening of a film we have in the collection called The Plight of Pepito, which was a news special from the early 60s about Cuban refugee children and the problems they had adjusting and this kind of the experience of coming to a strange country. And what happened was they had picked out a little kid to be in the movie in 1962 called Pepito. And Pepito actually showed up at the archive one day and said, hi, do you know of a show called Plight of Pepito? Because I was Pepito. So we showed the show and we had Pepito there and we did an interview with him, talked about his experience in making it. What a great story. The Wolfson Archives programs and activities offer something for everyone. And the best part is the events are free.